Hello and welcome back to a brand new video of Animal Crossing New Horizons. This video is the unofficial how to make bells in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Since right now currently we're trying to pay off our home loans, we need some bells and we need to make some bells. Really quickly, like I said before, this is not the official how to make bells in Animal Crossing New Horizons. That video will come at a later time. But also notice that I'm missing a word in this. And it's the word that I'm missing is quick. Because really the only quickest way to make bells in this game is really through RNG. What I mean by that is RNG with bell prices, RNG that CJ and Flick are in your island, and also RNG that you can find scorpions, tarantulas, all the ginormous fish, all the rare fish. It's all based around RNG. So really, is it going to be quick? No, not really. Because when I think of quick, I'm thinking a couple minutes to at most an hour. That's not going to be the case for this video, the unofficial way to make bells in Animal Crossing New Horizons, as well as the official way or the official video of ways to make bells in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So let's check out the turn prices really quick since we're already in here. Oh, 105, cool. So, I bought turnips for 95 bells. So, I'd only make a 10%, uh, 10%, 10 bell profit off all the bells that I made. How many bells did I buy? Or, how many turnips did I buy? Excuse me. Uh, was 100. So, 400, no. Yeah, 450. So, 450. Just quick, simple math here. 450 times 95. That's 42,750 bells. If I'm doing that correctly. Like I said, it's simple math. I'm not a math a mathematician. 45 times 105. I'm only making 5,000 bells more. So, no. In my opinion, it's not worth it. I'm just waiting till tomorrow to see what the two prices were. The previous price was 68. So there was a huge increase in the amount of um, bells. So, really quick. We need to fill up our pockets with some things. We already assessed the fossils. Of course, we don't need any of them in the museum because we. I think we only need like 10, 10 new ones or something like that. So it's not, you know, those will not come by anytime soon. So let's kind of go catch some fish and some bugs really quick. By the way, I will explain more in detail on the official ways to make bells in Animal Crossing New Horizons. There's a couple ways. Of course, the quickest is through turnips, but it's through RNG. Please be a giant trevally. I need it. It's going to be a sea bass, so. Oh, damn. Okay, that got that. Each time I, I get this one, I keep thinking like it, it's a giant trevally as it's coming out of the water, but it's an olive flounder. Let me... Uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, screw it. We'll capture this one. Come on. Come on. There we go. C C base or C bass, excuse me. Awesome. Um, let's see here. How many more? Oh, one more. Excellent. Ooh, let me capture you. Nope. Okay. Cool. We're just gonna capture a butterfly. Cool. So now our pockets are are filled up with majority of things that we can sell. The type of items that you are going to make decent bells with. Of course, are fossils, rare type of bugs and fish. However, you should wait for CJ and Flake to make an appearance to your town and sell it to them. Turnips, if it's a good day. And, you know, some furniture sets, it just depends what type of furniture, if they're rare, if they're not rare. Also, some tur type of materials and resources. Of course, the gold uh, nuggets will get you... I don't know, hang on. 
Let, let me see what the golden nugget gets you. 10,000 bells. Cool. Of course, we're not going to sell them because I want the giant robot, hero robot, slash Gundam, slash Transformer. But yeah, selling resources, fossils, fish, bugs, mostly rare fish and bugs. Granted, wait for CJ slash Flick to come to your town. That will get you a lot of bells. I'm going to keep the light switch. Yeah, cordless phone, that's fine. That will get you a lot of bells. That will... You know, that, that's kind of going to be some way of a main source of getting bells. If you don't want to go buy a whole bunch of turnips, or say, for example, your turnip prices are just terrible for today. Yeah, that those are going to be your main sources of, of revenue. However, there are other things you can do as well. Just like selling all those items, 29000 Right now, currently, you could go to the Harv's Island and take part in the whole wedding season throughout the month of June and get these heart crystals. The more you get, of course, the more bells it will accumulate if you don't want any of the wedding type of items. Also, I don't know how much the wedding type of furniture sets are being sold for. Probably a decent amount. But that's another way of doing it. Um, same thing if you see a lot of shooting stars, the star piece fragments, you know, like I said before, the more that you have, the more bells you will receive. Two other quick ways, like in th these ways are quick. However, one of them, you're not gonna get as mu much bells as you did in the past. I'll show you that one here after this. This will probably actually be a, a quick way. It just depends how many nook points you have. Of course, getting with our free points for today. If you go over to Redeem Nook Miles, you can get the Bell Voucher. Now for 500 Nook Miles, you can buy one of these and sell it and you'll get 3,000. So for example, 7,000 divided by 500, that's 14 times 3,000. That's 42,000 bells right off the bat. Like I said before, say for example, and you know, this game has been out March 20th. So going on almost three months, you probably have a lot of Nook Miles built up since you don't need to terraform your island anymore or you just been completing a lot of the tasks that this game has given you really divide that you know just say for example if you if you have 170,000 nook miles divide that by 500 340 times 3,000 that will literally put you over 1 million bells it'll be 1 million and 20,000 so like I said before, th that is probably the quickest, but like I said before, it's going to take several days to build up. It's not going to just be an hour of gameplay or two hours of gameplay. It will be days upon days, if not weeks. Since, yeah, since we're in here, let me, uh, let's talk to Isabel really quick. I don't think we're anywhere close to getting five star. But why not? Let's talk to her. Four star rating. Okay, cool. Anything new? I started visiting the island because my brother moved here, but I instantly fell in love with the place. Many communities build themselves so big and bright that you can hardly make out a star in the night sky. Now, not on honest, I shall be a regular visitor to its shores and skies for some time. I don't know who this character is, honestly, off the top, top of my head. According to recent feedback, then general summons that this island lacks the scenery. Well, I think it's the only way to respond to the information. Decorate the entire island, head to toe, or stream to see. I'm you created. Cool. I just. Yeah. All right. Cool. I. You know. Just gotta keep trying. Just gotta keep trying. Find items to put all around the island, and all that kind of stuff. Um. So anyway, yeah. Let's show you all the other way to get some bells like i said before quick wasn't the right word but it's pretty much picking up seashells and selling them that's really what it is because i remember in past animal crossing games i believe wild world you got you got some really decent bells for them but this is also another task that you can complete on your nook phone as well so 
like I said before, there's just no quick way of earning so many bells within a certain amount of time. It would just take weeks, months. And to be honest, it, it is what it is, unfortunately. I wish there was a way to earn millions upon millions of bells. Of course, turnips are one thing of doing it. However, each week you won't always get a good turnip price. Let's see what this message in the bottle contains. You found it, you found it. I did a DIY and got the stuff wrong, so I made this on accident. Man, I tell ya, I'm all accidents today. It's real easy. My head was stuck in my shirt and I still did the DIY. I hope you make it too. The DIY Deli Who D-I-H. Bone door plate. I already know it. Of course, those, uh, the, uh, DIY cards, you're not gonna, you won't make much off of them. Alright, this should be a ribbon eel. Yes, awesome. Uh, yeah, these, these type of fish will get you some decent bells. I think 2,400 or maybe even more. And then currently right now there are summer shells that are being that you can find. I don't know how much they go for. The clams, by the way, that you dig up, honestly, do not sell them. Personally, make them into fish bait. You can actually make them into fish bait and then try to find, um, try to find as I say find. Try to have better fish spawn and then you can sell those fish if you haven't already put them in, in the museum for fish bugs and fossils make sure that you donate them to to the museum i just feel like the museum stuff is really, really like the true end game of animal crossing because like in my opinion for animal crossing new horizons you want to pay off home loans and then you want to customize your house and then the end game would just be trying to fill out your whole museum. Also, maybe getting the villagers that you want. Also, another thing too, really quick, we actually do have one of our villagers moving away. Uh, tomorrow will be her last day, Barbara. Um, she's notorious. Not, she's not a notorious character, but someone in Nintendo made her notorious. There's a whole background story which I really can't discuss here on YouTube or. This video will definitely get, like, flagged. But yeah, she's moving away. Now, if you want to have a villager, like, that you want, like, say, for example, I really want Stitches or uh, Rib Bods or something like that, you can buy their Animal Crossing cards. And I believe you can somehow put... I don't know how you do it. You gotta do more research on it. But you can find a way to somehow activate their villager card onto New Horizons and they will become your villager. I believe you can do that. Hopefully I did not just make that up, but I do remember Tom to kind of mention it, mention it somehow. Now these villager cards, you got them I believe for Happy Home Designer and I don't think you can find them anywhere. Unless you have like those like five below shops or something like that, you really can't and you can buy a whole bunch off of Amazon or something. But they go a little bit more on the expensive side. So, uh, I mean, if it's just one villager you want to pay for it, I don't see the problem. If it's numerous of them, I, I feel like it's gonna be a little costly. Gosh dang it, see you later then. So, like I said, the choice is up to you. Really quick, since we have a little bit more time, let me capture just some insects so we can sell them. And how many fish bait did I make? Only four? Cool. Let's, let's get our food. There's one fish that spawns in the river during the daytime that I still need. It's called the Dorado. Now I believe his size is five or six. So yeah, it's really the high number up there. Guess what, Avery? I made up a nickname for you. Wanna hear it? Cause I wanna tell you. Oh gosh, here we go. What is it? What about Buddy? What do you think? Real cool, huh? 
Yeah, sounds good. I like it. You got it, Avery. Or, I guess I should say, you got it, buddy. So, will he dress me? I'm so sleepy. Anyway, what's going on with you? What's the latest? I heard you were smacking a lot of rocks yesterday. Find anything good? I smack rocks to find bugs, but usually I just find bells. So I spend those bells on snacks. And then snack crumbs, I drop our food for the bugs in my house. It all works out. Man, nature is beautiful. Oh, Hornsby, you... <laughs> Whoa. Living life on the wild side, I see. Living life on the edge. Um, let's see here. Any... Oh, that's the only issue about, like, designing my island like this is that there's so much rivers that really I didn't need to make this much the more I think about it but you know whatever life is what life is no dude enough of these small fish I need I need bigger fish okay all right well I'm, I'm about done with this oh okay I this is gonna be a black bass I can already tell yeah, this is like a four, but no, oh, we'll capture it. There we go. Yep, black bass, cool. Let's head over to the other side of the island to capture, or capture, pick up more seashells. And then we will move on to what? else can make us some bells gosh dang it gosh dang it sorry i ran over to the pier and it was a giant fish like a size five could have been a giant chevali sorry i gotta make sure i slow down when i'm near the pier all right let's do this Oh cool, a red snapper. Alright, um, just want to make sure my pockets don't get filled up. So yeah, just keep collecting the seashells and head back over to the to Nook, Nook's Cranny. And yeah, sell all the stuff and just try to get more bells. Like I said, for quick bells, it's going to be a lot of RNG that it turns out to be not so quick. And that's the only thing that like really sucks about it. So really quick is not the right word to use. It's, yeah, especially not in this game. I feel like in New Leaf and Wild, Wild World, there are quick ways of getting bells. I mean, there are some ways as well. Also remember, if you plant bell trees, you can get 10,000 up to, well, 10,000 per bell, like, bag. So you can get up to 30,000 bells. So there are, I guess there are some days that you can get quick bells, but it's not... A continuous each and every single day or it's not a continuous hey I'm gonna get bells for you know eight hours straight unless you find some type of exploit that I still haven't I've not found any type of exploit to get millions upon millions in an hour besides like turnips or you know CJ or flick is here all right let me get this by the way we are getting close to getting a gold slingshot and sometimes um gifts from the sky will have like 10,000 bells i believe it that most of it's 10,000 i don't think there's anything i don't think it goes higher than 10,000 i may be wrong about that maybe 50,000 but don't quote me on that So yeah, let's sell all the things. Let's talk to Vivian too, since she's in here. Why, Avery? What a delightful coincidence running into you into you here, Pyfel. Let's talk. You know what I'm doing? Why, I'm shopping for a little reward for myself. I think I deserve it. Oh, cool. Close and ability, like, just talk my ear off when we're all in the shop together. And I'm just like, okay, cool. Get away from me. Like, I gotta go shopping. 
Um, yeah, so we're gonna sell all the fish, seashells, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, let's do it. 14,000 bells. So, really, like I said before, you keep doing this over again and again. One, you will run out of resources like seashells and you have to wait. I don't know if they spawn daily, hourly, every single few hours. I don't know off the top of my head. So yeah, what did I just, ooh, yes, thank you. Let's do it. Nice, I'll take it. And no, we are not going to claim, any, we're not gonna buy any of the bell vouchers. I don't really want to do that. I would rather save my points up for more furniture sets that I could place around the island. Another, and this is probably the last way that I know of off the top of my head to get quick bells. Whatever your uh, native fruits tree is, don't sell those. You can, you just won't get that much bells. Try to find friends, or if you're lucky, get to a deserted island that has different types of fruit, and plant the trees, numerous trees, and just pick them, and then sell the fruit. You'll get about 500 bells per different type of fruit that you sell. So for example, my island, just like 85% of the Animal Crossing population, Animal Crossing New Horizon population, making that number up as we go, all have pear trees. If I sell apples, cherries, oranges, and peaches, I will get 500 bells per fruit. So, of course, doing the math, you know, I will get, if I sell 100 of them, I should get, don't, 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 don't make, don't quote me, 100 times 500, if I do that, I'll get 50,000 bells, sorry. Like I said, I'm not a mathematician. So yeah, these are like the ways to get some type of bells in Animal Crossing New Horizons. The unofficial video, I will be making an official video of ways to get bells. But that pretty much covers it all. I don't, I'm trying to think, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, other things on the agenda, really quick. We are going to chop down one of these trees. I'll chop down this one. The reason why that we're gonna chop it down, we are, we leave the stump right there. The reason why is so we can get some type of beetles to spawn on it. Now let me switch over to the my shovel and I'm going to plant another one since we have a seed. I'm gonna plant it right here. Might even try to do plant another one. But it might be on the other side. Did I get a message from someone? Oh, okay. I don't really like the whole, like, when your best friend who you set in this game is online. It'll be like, oh, I'm online. And I'm sitting here just being like, uh, okay, but you don't want to come to my island. And I don't want to go to your island. So I don't know, don't know why they have to tell us that we're all online with each other. It, it's weird. So, oh yeah, sorry. Let me get some, we need to grow more peach trees. That's the type, yeah, that's the one that we need more of, in my opinion. We don't have that many peach trees, so. I'm gonna plant some. Just a few more, just around here. Cause, yeah. Plant one. And then let's head over here, and then it'll just be probably right here. We'll plant another. And then, uh, yeah, let's plant one. We'll plant one right here. Alrighty, cool. So about, we can get at most nine more peaches around here. We need to do something about these flowers too. I need to start making more areas, like more gardening areas like I have back there. Maybe extend that one or do something with it. I just don't know. 
that no flowers, we would not be making any bells. I believe it would be like 80 bells per flower, unless it's like a rare type of flower, but we only have a few quote unquote rare type of flowers, so it won't, there's nothing really we can do. And then lastly, let's grab a few orange trees and let me plant a couple too, because we are also looking bare with the orange trees. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Hopefully these will grow. Mm, I feel like the one on the left won't, but I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Just so we can get more oranges grown. Cause yeah, like I said before, there are some fruits that we're kind of a little bit bare on. And cool. So that, that should be plenty. Let me also fill up the rest of my inventory with bugs and fish. So we can get, so we can at least like sell more variety of things. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I was afraid that my net would have broken. Dude, oh yeah, let's do it. Let's click let's get more of these done and over with. That make that makes me really happy. So we can get more more nook miles. Alright, now let's go capture some fish. Since I don't think I have the right type of resources to build or craft another net, so we'll just switch over to fish. Nope, of course not. Of course there's no bug or fish over there. Let me talk to you, Punchy. This is super comfy, Murmft. Yeah, we might have to change this catchphrase. I, I kind of want to try that out. Changing an animal's catchphrase. Ah, oh, sea bass, great, yay. But no, we're not gonna change it to like a slur like some idiots do. I, I don't understand why people do that. It's not funny. It's just childish and stupid. And it's also people who should not be playing any type of video games whatsoever. Or change into a cuss word or something. It's just like, okay, cool. I'm glad we're all children. But still, like, no. There's no need for that. Animal Crossing is a nice, friendly game meant for everyone to play. And I cannot forget that sea bass is in my first inventory slot. Ooh, yes. Oh no, no, it looked right at it. No, no, dude. Oh my gosh. Kill me now, dude. It looked right at it. I can't wait to get try and get the giant Trevally because I, I don't know. I, I hate uh, fishing at the pier. I hate it so much. I think it's one of the- it's just so awkward to fish at. Like, it's super, super awkward. Alright, Punchy, you're- I love how Punchy was sitting over here and then he got distracted by the butterfly, so he, like, ran a chase after it. Let's make a little bit of fish bait to see what can, uh, spawn. Oh man, I'm so mad at myself. Jeez, dude. And it's the second fish in this video. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, cool. We got two of them crafted. I'll take it for now. One of these days, we're just gonna have our whole inventory filled with some fish bait. 
we'll have several different fishing rods and we'll just go out fishing for the fish that we need just not this i don't want to do it this video there's a lot of prep work for it and this i think this is a size four yeah Ooh, I think this is a size five. Give me sea bass or all the flounder. Yep, caught it. It's like when I get 10 Ks in Pokemon Go, and it's like it's gonna be a feed best, and it's always a feed best. It's gotta lower expectations when I can. Because I don't want to disappoint myself. Now, if there's a shiny Phoebus, I would be. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, kind of like that because I already have a shiny Melodic and. So I don't really need another shiny. And I have another shiny Phoebus, so it's like, eh. Uh... Okay, cool. So let's go craft three uh, fish bait. Hopefully, in the next update or whenever they decide to update the store next they will add like fish bait to the inventory oh by the way really quick with the fruit trees they will grow back the fruit will grow back on the trees within a couple of days so like i said before you can't really sell fruit of other kinds daily pretty sure you can i'm pretty sure that they don't grow back daily i think it's like Two or three days, but don't quote me on that either. It might even be longer. So, yeah. Also, another way to get bells is putting a lot of bells in your savings. And after the end, it's either the end or the beginning of each month, you'll get some type of you'll get interest in those bells. However, Nintendo has completely changed how much interest you'll get. So you're probably not going to get as much as you would like to get. Sadly, and this is gonna be a, an eel. So, okay, do not move because it's probably gonna look to the left. Nobody move. Nope, it's gonna swim forward. I think there's only one of these eels currently in the game. Sorry, sorry, my my hand slipped. But don't quote me on that. I think there's, I think there's two. Capture it. But so far I've only caught one and it's the rainbow eel. I haven't caught the second one. If there is, then that's probably it. The one that I like get away. All right, so we got one more fish bait. Hopefully, some, something good, something decent. Uh, I think it's a, yeah, it's a size four, but whatever. Maybe it's a size five? No, it's a size four. No, a size five. Oh, cool. And it's a sea bass, so uh, yeah, I don't really care that much about it. All right, let's go sell all the stuff to Nook's Cranny, and then let's see how many bells we'll get. And Vivian, you're still in here. Excellent. All right, cool. Uh, sea bass is in the number one spot in my inventory. Gotta remember that. We're selling all the fruits, selling some leftover resources that we can't carry anymore. Like, say for example, that can't fit with the other 30 of it. Um, yeah, trying to make sure I'm not selling turnips or anything like that. I gotta rearrange my inventory. Alrighty. Ooh, nice. All right, so let us head over to our savings 
and see how much bells we have overall. Because we might be able to um, pay off our... Oh, I should have bought a net, but oh well. We may be able to pay off our um, home loan, but don't quote me on that. Let's see here, ABD. Yeah, no, we're almost there. It will be less than, uh, adding our savings and our current will be less than, what, 80,000? Let me put 110 in my savings. So, yeah, wow. We're, we're almost there. And honestly, like I said before, if you keep doing all this, like catching bugs, fish, seashells, all this, you know, and if you want to do like the bell vouchers, even though I think you should terraform and try to get your island to five star. If you keep doing all of this, you can definitely make a lot of bells within a day. It's just going to take you a while, probably a whole day to maybe make a million or so. But it, it is possible. So with all that being said, I don't know what we're going to do in the next video. Hopefully, we'll have the uh, bells paid off. I might pay, just pay it all off, off of recording, so then probably the next video we can actually just focus on customizing our new house. But I don't, I don't know yet. Until then, see you guys in the next video of Animal Crossing New Horizons.